Hi there. Today I'm going to discuss the role of plugins in Kube Creator and how they provide a lot of the core functionality that developers use. So in case you're not aware, Kube Creator is the recommended IDE for the Kube framework. Kube framework is based upon C++ and how, how it works is that it depends upon certain plugins to hand off to build systems in order to uh, call the relevant compiler for the currently selected kit. So right here you can see that I have the desktop GCC kit selected. Um, and as you can see here, this is a plain C program. It just displays how the world and has two numbers together. And this is using the CMake uh, build plugin. To prove that it is, I will first show you the plugin that it's loaded. So just look for CMake. Oh, I don't need to type anything. There it is, CMake Project Manager. It says that it's loaded. <coughs> now, if I let's just clean this, right click and click clean. Lovely, cool. I'll do something else. Four plus two, save it, and then click play or control R. There you go. So yeah, the role of plugins is in Kit Creator is quite essential. So if I go into here and click about plugins and I just disable everything. So that's most of the plugins disabled. Um, I'll restart now. Let's see what happens. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, as you can see, um, with all the plugins disabled, you can't do a damn thing with Q Creator because most of the functionality is implemented through plugins and without them it's next to useless. <laughs> So let's re enable the plugins again. Oh my gosh, I must have enabled some other plugin. Okay. Well, alright. <laughs> so it's. Oh, this is new and me. Okay. Alright. But anyway, the core plugins have been loaded, so the core functionality will work. And importantly, the CMake plugin is build plugin is there, so I can now build with the CMake again. As you can see here, yeah, so now it works. Um, what a, what about using other kits? So uh, let's see. If I open up uh, project quick items here. Projects tab and to quick items. Okay, so let's. I've already configured a Android kit before and desktop. So we'll try it. We'll launch this on the desktop and see how it looks like. Get an idea. Um, so this uses the Q Quick scene graph uh, with 2D and 3D items loaded by the QQML engine. Um, So if I select the Android kit, and notice I'm, um, okay, this is in the QMAC build system. So, and this is executed separately. So the QMAC is a separate program, but this is ex executed by the uh, QMAC plugin. So if I click run, yeah, set my device, okay. You see what's going on. So again, it's still it's calling CMake, but as another build step, it's also calling the deployment tool, and that's another another plugin. This functionality is part of a, another plugin. So as you can see, um, developing Qt applications from yeah, Qt Creator is, is a good idea because it implements the build steps as plugins. So it makes it a whole lot easier. 
if you weren't using Kit Creator and its plugins, you would have to well run CMake yourself and run the deployment tool yourself, or employ some other method of deploying your application. So yeah, that's finished now. And yeah, it's running. You can't see it unfortunately, but yeah, it's running on my tablet. So let's have a look and at the source code behind these plugins. So it's all run, run good for me, saying what what they do, but. It's a good idea to have a look at the source code behind these plugins. So I'm in this website called code.wobok.org uh, slash cube5 slash cube created slash source plugins. Um, I'll just navigate up to the top um, an idea of where you need to go. So you just select Qt here and then Qt dash creator and then source src plugins. And there you can see the directories contain the source code and other files necessary for building uh, each respective plugin. So let's have a look at CMake Project Manager. And so do these plugins implement a, a set of interfaces provided by the the plugin API and it's very very much similar to like a a driver in Linux, say, that implements a set of um, interfaces as well. If you were to look in here. So as you can see, this extends uh, Project Explorer abstract process step. The beauty of uh, this code viewer here is you can actually switch between declarations, definitions, and usages of a of a type. So it's quite handy. Yeah, so I encourage you to have a look through the source code of these plugins using this online viewer here. Next, we want to see what code is being called when the CMake Project Manager plugin is loaded, just like any other C++ class and therefore this gets called at runtime. If you look through here, you can actually see um, how it interacts with the other uh, plugins as well, and also connections to uh, signals and slots between the build manager and CMake manager. All right, that's as much as I'll explain for this video. Again, I highly encourage you to look at the online source viewer provided by Wubok. I'll provide a link below in the, in the description. Hopefully this video, you've learned that QCreator is powered by plugins and how important a role plugins have in the IDE. Thanks for watching.